Okay, so what are we going to do? Al. Oh, Al. My God. So I started Jiu Jitsu in 2011. I started it primarily because I needed to um, obviously do it for MMA. I needed to learn how to, how to grapple. I came straight from like a Muay Thai background and uh, needed to learn how to defend myself on the ground. And uh, I, even though that was like my first original class was in 2011, my like actual official class was in 2011, I'd been rolling for like two years prior while I was living in Thailand. They had like an MMA program that would go in and just like mess around with the guys, try to spar with the MMA fighters and stuff. And then uh, once I got back from Thailand, then it was basically like MMA is the next like progression. So then I was like, okay, I have to start Jiu Jitsu. And yeah, that was in 2011. And I started with um, Jason Costa. Uh, he was a third degree black belt at the time. And um, my, my Jiu Jitsu started as me doing one-on-ones only with him. My, my first year of Jiu Jitsu was just with Jason, um, another brown belt, Khalil, and um, a purple belt at the time named James. And uh, the three of us would, would train. I would just do privates with, with Jazz and I would just get crushed every single day. It wasn't until like a year into my Jiu Jitsu um, like journey that I, when after I had my first MMA fight, that I actually joined like a general class and I was running with like other white belts. And I was like, oh, so it actually does work. It's not just me getting destroyed all the time. And that's that's when I started like enjoying. Um, that's when I started enjoying jujitsu because I was like, oh, okay, so the stuff I'm learning actually does work. It's not just it's not just me getting smashed every single day on the floor. Um, so yeah, after my first year of jujitsu, um, I was graded to blue belt. Um, then continued obviously continued training. I did um, a few local competitions. Um, I actually, funny story, I, I, I got my, I, my ear popped like a week before um, my first ever like jujitsu comp in the gi. And I'd done like no gi stuff like overseas and then when I was in Thailand, like just for shits and giggles. And then uh, my first ever comp like a week before my ear popped and I was training every day, like draining it on the mat, training, draining it on the mat. And then uh, had to compete. And when you compete, you're not like wearing like earmuffs or anything. I had like, 10 matches or something, like something stupid. And my ear was just like hanging to the floor at the end of that. Because everyone was like, oh, how, like, how long have you been grappling for? I was like, 12 months, <laughs> like, like not, even, not even that long. And then yeah, I got, I got awarded my blue belt by Jadson and um, he, he graded me up to purple belt as well. And I got my purple belt after I submitted a guy in, a profession, in my third MMA fight at the end of 2012. Um, so two years in, I was already graded to purple belt. Um, and that was kind of like, you know, from me training twice a day, sometimes three times a day, every single day with, you know, black belts, brown belts and purple belts only. And then just doing like a general class in the evening. Um, that was like kind of like my journey all the way up into purple belts. And then like by then I was already like quite a um, established grappler. And, um, you know, it wasn't just something that I did for MMA. It was something that I, that I enjoyed. I was I was teaching a bit on the side as well. Um, and then in 2000 and, in 2000 and, when was it, 2014, Jadson left um, the, the, the academy that I was training at, at the time. And um, then um, I was training a little bit under Jacques Portelli, only for like a couple months. And uh, then when he left, then Brandon Hoffman came back from Brazil and he had just, he had just won, um, uh, nationals and brow bar level and got given his, his black belt and he had just come back to um, to South Africa and I had known Brandon since I was like two years old my whole life we were like family friends and he went over to do Jiu Jitsu and when he decided to come back to um, South Africa it was like I, I want to learn from you you know and so he awarded me my brown belt in 2015 um, and then after after getting my brown belt um, my MMA career was uh, at a point where I needed to step up my game. And that's, where I, that's when I reached out to Rich. <clears throat> and I said, you know, I need to come and I need to come join you guys. You know, I need, I need to come and uh, be a part of what you guys are doing. And uh, that was when I decided to move to Joburg and uh, join uh, Quan Vessels and uh, start learning under Rich. And 
you know, like I, as soon as I started training, as soon as I started training here, I realized that, you know, you get, there's like, there's levels and then there's like levels. And so at that moment, I was like, cool, this is where I need to stay and this is who I want. Because everyone was saying like, oh, like when are you going to get your black belt? And I was like, no, 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 no. When Rich says I can get my black belt, then I get my black belt. I won't, I, w I will not accept it any other way. And so um, my like jujitsu journey really for me started when I moved here and then I really became like um, a real student of, of jujitsu and a real student of like learning the game, learning like the, the small like, like small little details about certain things and like the gi game and uh, understanding like positions better and building my own style around um, the things that I learned throughout the years. And I felt like my time at Brown Belts was really where I like polished my skills, the skills that I had and really like refined it down to a, to a point where I felt like I was at a level that I could compete with the best guys in the world. <clears throat> and um, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much where, that's pretty much my, um, my, my experience from, uh, from, from Jiu Jitsu. And um, you know, obviously it's trained with all the best guys in South Africa and uh, you know, it's it's been a it's been a real, really, really good journey, and to be awarded my black belt and be the first black belt under the Quan Vessels banner is like a huge deal for me. Like the lineage that we got is insane. So um, to be able to be the first guy is just you know it's a, it's it's a huge honor, huge honor for me, and uh, <laughs> and uh, it's not something that I take lightly, you know. And I try to carry on like the traditions and uh, and the things that I've learned here. Especially, especially like the culture that that's been bred here. You know, I came from the black mat days when things were savage, <laughs> to uh, to now where it's like a refined, you know, uh, polished like academy. And um, you know, I'm trying to like uphold that with my own academy and my own teachings further. And you know, one day when I'm able to give out a black belt, I hope that I'll be able to carry on the lineage the same way that I've 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 received it. Um, so, in the beginning, I was competing a lot of a lot of jujitsu, obviously because I wanted to like get a feel for it, and um, that was basically from like white belt to blue belt, like almost to purple belt, um, just like local shows. Uh, there was like shows called Gas at the time that I would do, like which were nogi shows. I did like AJP. Um, my, my actually my first AJP was that, that one when I, did my, when I got my ear all messed up and I, I actually came second, I got a silver medal in the, in the final, like I lost by like one point, like it was so frustrating. I submitted everyone up until that point and then I lost the final match at like by one point. Um, so it was like really frustrating, but you know, it, it is what it is, that's how it goes in, in uh, Jiu Jitsu. And then after like blue belts, I, like my main focus was MMA. At, the, at that time, my main focus was MMA, so my, my, my main uh, competition was MMA, you know, trying to use the jiu-jitsu that I knew and apply it to MMA. And, you know, I got my first, <clears throat> coming from like a Muay Thai background, I got my first submission in, in 2012, my third fight. Then I got submitted, um, probably the best grappler at the time in the EFC, Castellano, submitted him. He's a, a black belt. Um, and then, um, you know, continuing my, my, uh, my journey through competition, submitted like Dave Mazzani, just submitted Nate uh, Williams, who's also a Jiu Jitsu black belt. So my, my main competition has been through MMA. It's been like testing it in, 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 in mixed martial arts. Um, and that's been my main focus for the last 10 years. You know, I've just been trying to use my Jiu Jitsu to progress my MMA career. Yeah, so I've obviously competed. I've won the EFC lightweight title twice. Um, I won it in 2013 and then again in 2017. Um, I then moved on to the UFC. Um, debuted, got knockout of the night um, in, my, yeah, in, my, in my first fight in the second round with a head kick. Then I competed again in the UFC. Um, won a decision victory against one of the top 15 fighters in, at the moment. Um, moved on to the PFL. Um, my debut, I won via submission in, in the second round against a uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt and D1 wrestler. So for me, like, like I said, I started Jiu Jitsu primarily because of MMA. Um, but now like what keeps me 
keeps me uh, on the mats and what keeps me in jiu-jitsu and what makes me so in love with jiu-jitsu is the fact that like, you know, it doesn't matter where you're from, who you are, what your business is, who you think you are outside, the mats are the most honest place on the planet. So, you know, it doesn't matter if you're running a, a, a billion, billion dollar company, it doesn't matter if you're coming from the streets, it doesn't matter if you're a martial artist. When you come on the mats, everyone's equal and the only thing that matters is skill and hard work. And so for me, that's what keeps making me come back. You know, in, in a lot of other sports, you know, athleticism plays a huge role. You know, if you're a buck in a boxing match and a guy's more powerful, more athletic than you, it's gonna be a tough time. Jiu Jitsu, only skills count, only skills matter. And that comes through time and hard work. And that's why I love Jiu Jitsu. Awesome, sweet dude. One take wonder, bro. Told you, bro, I'm made for this. I'm made for this. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't fight it. <laughs>